Hello, I'm Lou and welcome to my channel. As you can see, we have the latest Upcrate box. This one is number 42. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we've got inside and make some art with it. So let's go check it out. Oh, that's a really pretty colour. Um, so just number 42, uh, no, no words or anything. Um, we'll have a look at that in a moment. Let's just get everything out of the box. Okay, so we'll look at the art materials first before I dive into the bottom post. Okay, I recognise this. Um, so we have here the Viviva colour sheets. Um, I've actually had these before, um, so these aren't a new product. Um, I've had these from a previous Squaller box a, a couple of years ago actually. But I have to say, um, I'm not disappointed. I, I absolutely love uh, this brand um, and um, I, like, I like the idea of it, the innovation of having um, colour sheets. Uh, they are watercolour. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll dive in and have a look a bit further into those. Um, I can see that it's the spring set, so we've got a nice vibrant colour set there. Um, I can't remember what the other set that I had was, but uh, it's very, very similar. Um, we also have a Spectrum Noir art liner, and I don't know if anything else is on there. So it is a 0.5. Um, nice and fine there and we have I believe this is a paintbrush and let me grab my scissors <laughs> would have been nice that it wasn't in plastic never mind uh, so this is an upgrade travel brush um, I have had one of these before as well um, and yeah, you just pull that out. So this is the case for it. Pull it out and it's, the handle is extended. And you've got a really nice brush in there. That's actually very nice. Um, it doesn't say, it's obviously a round brush, but it doesn't say what size. Uh, let me see. No, I'll, we'll check the bottle post in a moment. And we also have a Colour Peps. I've not heard of this brand before. Um, so this is a Colour Peps uh, map head. I don't know if I said that right. So it's, it looks like it's just a pencil, quite a light pencil with an eraser on the end. Okay. So far, I'm, I'm not disappointed. That's actually quite a nice um, set to have. Um, yeah, I actually have this with my travel set. So whenever I go traveling um, on holiday or whatever, I do have this. I just think it's such a clever way of traveling without having too much stuff in your bag. It's very light and um, um, yeah, I, I'm really happy. So we have the bottle post. I'll have a look at that in a moment. Um, we also have the um, st sticker sheet and we've got some really cool cats. This is, I, I know Kat, uh, Kat Bark, uh, she's a YouTuber. Um, I really love her style. She does a lot of cats, but she does lots of whimsical, uh, mythical um, art as well. Um, I really like her style. Um, so this is really cool to see. Um, yeah. Um, this is the print. Um, that she's done so cat bark if you want to go check her out on YouTube um, I absolutely love her style yeah I love it and we have an aqua pad so it's a gold line 300 uh, GM 140 pound 10 sheets which is really nice to see I have to say with upcrate um, I have 
um, in the past said many times that they don't include enough paper and it's nice, nice to see that they've actually included a whole pad uh, with 10 sheets to work with. Um, I have used this brand before and, um, uh, and this uh, aqua pad, so it's from Claire Fontaine. Um, so yeah, um, I'm really impressed with this, uh, this box so far. Um, yeah, uh, so the paper uh, is quite thick um, and textured. Um, yeah, it's cold press as well. Okay, so this is what we've got in the box. So the bottle post uh, gives you a description of what's included in the box um, and a little bit of history about watercolour and stuff like that. Um, and then the artist, cat bark. And, um, and then just further down the line, uh, just a little bit about how to do uh, mixing with colours that are, that are in the box. And then uh, from there, we have the upgrade battle for um, the box 40, which was tomorrow we are unstoppable. And so these are the winners um, from that box that they chose. Um, I don't really recognize any of them actually, but they are pretty cool. I really like that. I like that. this one's a nice one. Um, and then the upgrade battle for New Year New mm -hmm. uh, for January. Um, again, these are really cool um, artists, and that's for January's box. And then right at the back, um, we have the prompt for this box, which is Life Wakes Up. Yeah, okay. Um, I need to have a think on that one. Um, but yeah, um, quite excited for this box actually. I'm really. I love watercolour, I love working with watercolour, I'm, I'm not um, uh, I'm not exactly fantastic with watercolours but I do like working with them um, so yeah overall I'm very happy with this box so I'll have a think on the prompt which is life wakes up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I'll just go into a bit more detail with the Viviva colours. Uh, so it's the colour sheets, the, the spring set range, and they're super vivid transparent watercolours. And you get 16 colours in this little booklet alone. So it's very compact, um, but they do go a long way. And as you can see at the bottom here, these are the colours in this set. Um, so you've got quite a few to work with. And you've got a really nice um, pattern um, and illustrations on the front which is really pretty and nice to see. And it's made in India, so the company is from India. And then when you open it up, you have a little um, bit of information of how to use these. Um, you can even put your name down and your Instagram handle there. Um, and then you get the actual uh, watercolor, um, well, they're not pans, but um, little sheets um, in the booklet. Uh, so you have two here and then you have this paper divider um, to make sure that they don't mix um, with the next two um, colours. So it's nice to see that you have that there. Um, and as you can see, you've got Vivid Red, uh, Cherry Blossom, uh, Burgundy, and although it doesn't look like Burgundy, it will, um, when you apply water, it, it will. Um, and then you've got Saffron, Happy Yellow, Tree Bark Brown, which looks black, um, and then we have foliage green, olive green, again, very dark, um, but just bear in mind, they won't look like that when you apply water. And then we've got lemongrass, ocean blue, got two bits of paper there, um, midnight blue, indigo blue, metallic red, metallic baby pink, metallic light green, and metallic sky blue um, so yeah they, they are the colors it's nice to see that they've put in some metallic colors there um, I, I can't wait to actually see what they look like on paper um, and then right at the back um, you actually do get a palette um, so this is your palette so you can actually mix the colors if you want to um, so this is basically your pan set um, all in one with a travel brush and I did check in the uh, bottle post and this is a round brush too, so size two. 
uh, which is a nice size to work with. Um, so yeah, that is the Babiba colours. I will swatch them out and um, go from there. Okay, so I finished this swatching and I have to say I absolutely love these colours. They're so vibrant and pigmented um, and um, I don't know if you could see from the swatching uh, but I didn't apply that much water um, and to get this much pigment on the paper um, it definitely um, goes a long way. It's very strong in pigment um, and I have to say I absolutely love the metallic um, colours that they've included in this set. Um, I don't know if you can see it very well, um, but it has got a really nice metallic shine to them. Um, it would have been nice if we didn't have like a, a red and a pink, maybe like a yellow or an orange or something just to break it up. Because um, we've got like these three colours here. I don't know, I just felt like maybe we didn't need two of these. But they're still very, very nice colours. Um, so yeah, and I thought this was a pencil um, just when I scribbled on the tissue paper It didn't look like um, a, a color, but it kind of makes sense now um, as it's called color peps um, Yeah, I didn't quite twig that um, but the color I have is purple um, So yeah, um, it's nice to to get um, something quite different um, in in this set um, the pen works very nicely uh, so far. Um, I just used it to actually write the names down. Um, but yeah, I'll have a think. And uh, yeah, the next part will be making the art. <laughs>
Captured in a photograph Remember how we used to sit in the vines Yeah, oh And I can hear you laugh it off You always said mistakes I left in the past
Wasting now with no end in sight I was lost But if it's worth the win, it's always worth the fight It's always worth the fight, yeah So this is the end result and I'm really, really happy with it. I absolutely love how this came out. Um, obviously, it's a little bit rough and ready. It's um, not as refined as I would normally do. This isn't usually my art style. Um, I tend to do more realistic uh, drawing and painting. Um, but yeah, I wanted to do something a bit more fun, um, a bit more um, out of out of comfort really um, and a bit more challenging uh, the prompt was life wakes up and um, initially my thought was a cockerel sitting on a, a fence post uh, waking up um, everyone um, with their call and um, and then I thought oh, do you know what I want to do something a little different a bit more fun uh, and creative and uh, yeah, I, I did a bear sleeping. He's currently hibernating uh, with this little rabbit friend. Um, and um, it, 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 we're now coming into spring um, and he's about to wake up. Um, and it says, hibernating, wake me when winter is over. And of course, um, we've got a lot of spring flowers here. Um, so he's about ready to wake up and um, enjoy the spring. Um, so yeah, this is, this is what I created. Uh, little, his little rabbit friend is also hibernating. He's just about ready to wake up. Uh, he's uh, listening out. Um, and uh, a fun fact, uh, ladybugs actually hibernate as well. Um, I didn't know that. I wanted to put that in there. Um, so I've got a little ladybug there uh, as well. Um, who's just come out of hibernation. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, this is what I created. I had so much fun with this box. Um, I, I haven't been with Upcrate for very long, um, I haven't been subscribed to them for very long but I have to say I think this is the best box that they've done so far um, since I've been subscribed to them. Um, I absolutely love the Viviva Colours uh, watercolour booklet, I think it's uh, really fun, innovative, um, you can take it with you anywhere, um, it's a space saver um, and it goes a long way. I hardly, hardly used it. Um, just little dots in the corners um, it will go a long way and I was actually trying to mute uh, the colors trying to make it a bit more subtle a bit more um, pastel um, and I I actually struggled it's very pigmented very strong in color um, and I didn't mess around with it too much because normally I, I am about detail um, so I was thinking about putting more detail in there but I didn't really want to darken this any further than it already is um, but I absolutely love it I love the nature of water and uh, watercolor just reacting um, and letting it do its thing um, which I did for the most part um, I just just went loose and fun with it um, obviously you've got this bloom here uh, where water pushes the pigment to the edge of the uh, water pool um, and I, I think that gives it a really good effect um, and it, throughout throughout the painting of the bear um, I think I think he looks amazing I absolutely love it um, the colors are so vibrant um, and I chose spring flowers so I wanted to make sure I had um, like give that indication that spring is here and he's about to wake up um, so that was my thought process I um, used this pencil mo mostly for sketching so I didn't normally I would use color pencils over the top of watercolor just to clean it up and everything and um, give it definition and contrast and tones and whatnot um, 
but uh, I mostly use this for sketching uh, before the painting. Um, and if this was meant to be like a Prismacolor colour erase pencil, this is so much better. Um, I, I, it rubbed out really well. Um, I, I would say probably better than the colour erase pencils. Um, and I probably will get my own set um, if they do them in the UK. Um, yeah, these are really good pencils. Um, rubbed out very well. Um, very comfortable in the hand because they are triangular shaped. So they don't roll away and they're quite comfortable in the hand. Um, and yeah, uh, drew very well um, and rubbed out very well. So I definitely recommend it. I'm glad they put that in the box. Um, I've not used that before. Um, and obviously I've mentioned the watercolour set. Um, I think this is a lovely range of colours um, that they've uh, put in, in this set. Um, so much fun. Um, and as I said before, it does go a long way. Uh, you can use this over and over again. Uh, the only thing I would say, because it's so like folded up, it's hard to get it flat. Uh, and um, the uh, I did use the palette, but it kept like folding back up. And I even like tried to stick it down with washi tape, um, but it kept folding. And of course, the paint just ran down and just... Uh, the card actually just soaked it up so I just gave up on that um, and just used my, I actually used my coaster um, my drinks coaster because my um, palette's in the dishwasher um, so um, yeah this is my coaster um, but it, it works just fine and of course it's watercolour it'll, it'll clean off so I'm not too bothered about that um, uh, so yeah I 100% I think you should get this box if you haven't already um, if you don't want to kind of spend that kind of money um, definitely get get this set um, I recommend it there's so much fun uh, to work with um, the pen works really well um, just like any other uh, art liner really um, I, 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 again I was a bit more loose with it I didn't go too mad with the line line work um, but yeah look works really well and this paintbrush um yeah i absolutely love this i will be taking this on the travels with me with with the viva colors um it's a nice size brush um for this kind of size artwork i think this is perfect um it is slightly small so i had to keep going back to water and doing that but do you know what I'm, i like the effect that it create created so i'm not disappointed um so yeah i i really really like this box they thought it out and i love the fact that they finally included a pad of paper uh, so you can really go go mad uh, with creating um with this with these art materials um so yeah overall as i ha haven't said it before <laughs> um i'm very very pleased um so yeah i i will probably do my idea of the cockerel next um, and go from there um, yeah um, I, I, if you've got this box I hope you're having fun with it um, what have you created with the pont life wakes up um, this is something a little bit different not quite the same but almost there um, uh, but yeah I hope you like it um, let me know in the comments down below what you think um, but, but for now um, please do give me a like share and a subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Take care. Bye.